So what's the problem, Finn? Well, Moose has gotten really picky lately. If the bowl is halfway or less with food, Moose will not eat it because I guess he just doesn't want to stick his head in the bowl. <laughs> or he just figures he needs to boss us around to get us him his food. But wait, boss us around? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> no, wait, wait, who's he bossing around? Us. No. Oh, oh. me, I guess, yeah. <laughs> exactly. He knows he has you wrapped around his little claw. Yep. Yep. He's funny. We trimmed his nails the other day, and this morning he had a hard time jumping up on the <laughs> door window because his nails couldn't grab it. Yeah. Moose, what's the problem, buddy? You need a full bowl of food? You're not happy until you get it. I think he wants to go outside and be an adventure kitty. Maybe. Or he's going to go look for a full bowl. See if he does it. Oh, yeah. Or go back out. Oh, what are you doing, Finn? She's trying to convince me to let Olaf be a house kitty. Look at her eyes. I do like She's Olaf's little purr. She's pleading for you. Oh. Moose has such a quiet purr, and I do enjoy hearing him purr. Yes. Oh, she's happy. Look at her kneading on your shirt. And she isn't long-haired, and she doesn't really shed. Yeah. So. Yeah. She's pretty sweet. Hey. We haven't told them what happened with Chaco. Oh, well, you know how, well, Elaine and them were all here. And the day that they left, Chaco was missing. So we think Chaco might have gotten in their engine and tried to go home with them. Tennessee, or we don't really know whose engine, but we're guessing yeah. Chaco took a trip somewhere. Yeah. And the adventure kitty has not returned. So we're just hoping he's safe somewhere, I'm sure. If he made it to a new destination, somebody's thrilled with that cat because he was awesome. Or she. I guess it was a she. But we still kind of hold out hope that she will just run through the woods and make it home, but she was a pretty awesome cat. Oh, yes. So now Olaf is getting all the love and attention, mm -hmm. and Finn wants to bring her in, and so does Sawyer. They were all teaming up on me this morning. Yep. Look at that. She's coming in. Look at her pleading eyes. Please look at them. <laughs> Pleading She's pleading for you. She's it's... pleading for more food because her food bowl's empty. <laughs> She's cute. You gotta convince Dad, not me. Okay. <laughs> that should be easy. <laughs> Dad was not the good. It was a good choice for. Oh! oh. <laughs> <laughs> I think she tried to jump out the window. <laughs> no, she might not be the brightest kitty. <laughs> Alright, Finn and Angus, what are we doing? Chickens and pigs. Night chores. It's been cold and rainy all day. Not cold, colder than summer. But the rain gave us a break. So, what do you got? Cheerios and... What kind of Cheerios? I think they're <laughs> old pumpkin Cheerios. Pumpkin and... Cheerios that nobody would eat. <laughs> and corn. And corn on the cob that we devoured last night. <laughs> So the pigs are gonna be happy. And we let the pigs out today because they actually don't have a very good shelter. They have a little dog kennel, but they won't all fit in there anymore, will they? Mm -mm. They still cram in there, Angus says. Yeah. Um, but they're out here somewhere. We let them out so they could find a dry spot during the rain. So let's go, I'll follow you kids. Um, they know what's going on. What are you doing, Gil? Hi, Gil. Oh, you're so loud. Can you sit? He's all wet. Miss, Gil, sit. Oh, he's sitting. He wants something. Don't give him anything yet. The chickens will. They'll come up here and they'll never leave us alone. I'll call it. I can call the other person. Well, let's just wait. Hey, Gil. Oh, that was great. Good job, Gil. He even got a bite of that. He's yeah, pretty good. Nice. Now he's gonna sit like a good boy. Oh, he's gonna do a little jump for you. Yeah. <laughs> sit. Sit. All the way. Touch. Oh, <laughs> Touch. Oh, pretty good. Pretty good trick. Good job, Gil. Good job, Gil. 
I like that trick. You have to give it a name. Oh, Gil. Go for it. And there they go. They're off. Gil thinks he's a chicken. How are you going to get those extras in there? With this food? Over there. There's some, some oh, chickens. Oh, I just chase them around. Okay, go for it. Okay. They need to get in because there's a coyote that's been around. We spotted a coyote here late last night and then went over at Aaron's business. They saw one out in the woods, so uh, these chickens don't want to go in. But they better. They might not make it if they don't. We'll have to get Gil out. I know, that's going to be a challenge, getting Gil out. You can get these chickens to go in. They just, there's one in. You got one in. Thank you, chase that chicken down. We got most of the chickens in, but Gil's in there with them. If we open up the gate, we get Gil out and we lose chickens. We don't want the coyote to kill the chickens. Mm. Any ideas? Um, hey, what if I get a corn cob and you can show it to him? Um, that might work. He's got a whole bunch right in front of him. Yeah, he's like, oh, I know. Grab those corn cobs. Grab those, Angus, and pull them out here. See if Gil will be enticed. Oh, he almost got. Hey, stop. Eat these, not that. He just wants the chicken food. I know. We might be in a bind. You might have to wait a minute till the chickens go away and. Oh, boy. Well, that's one method. Hey, good job. Where'd he go? Heavy. Good. Good that job. Heavy. <laughs> okay. All right, Finn. Okay, girls, you're a little bit late. You missed the party down here, girls. But now they're going to try to bust in. Yep. Come on, girls. Oh, that's what they're going after. She brought her corn cob. Let's go, pigs. Anne has not let go of hers. Oh, I saw this. Oh, there we go. They want what you have, Angus. They want the Cheerios. Oh, yeah. All over their heads now. <laughs> Cheerios. Pumpkin Cheerios. Even better than normal. Oh, yes. I can't believe you guys didn't like those. They sound good. I, don't, I like them. Nobody told me you didn't have them though. <laughs> They've been sitting there for a couple months. Yeah. Yeah. They probably love the garden. That's all muddy. Yeah, I'm probably sure they're going to love the garden. Hey, Fernie, no, no. There's the little fall treat pumpkin Cheerios for the pigs. Oh, oh. Now they just, you just get sprayed. Okay. Now what? Three chicks? Oh, look it. Oh, Over there. Yeah. We got a mineral block for the pigs. Oh. Uh, we might that. need to put it in a better spot, but I, I did read reach. that sometimes they um, root in the ground because they might have a mineral deficiency. So, who knows? That's probably a little oh. too hopeful, but it's worth a shot. Cool. Look at the perfect little chicks. No, come help us out. Two are already in. There's grass eater way up there. One's walking around and grassy eater's way up there by himself. He okay. might need a little escort. Guys, want some food? Drippy, I can go get Pengu while you... Yeah, that'd be great, Ben. Why don't you go get grassy eater? Yeah. I'll grab their food. I need to go get grassy eater. Okay. Look at these girls. Getting all big and grown up. I don't think they're roosters. Oh no, those are hens for sure. Oh, they're looking good. Eater, maybe, maybe rooster. a couple more months. I think he is. It's got a pretty long They'll be laying eggs. Can't I know, wait. I'm excited for that. Yep, three more eggs every day. That'll be nice. Yeah. This one's pretty bold here. I think she's like the king. Maybe that's the leader. <laughs> yeah. Yep. All right. And, Hi, Fernie. All right, Finn. You got grassy eater? Sure you can do. put him in, and then I'll put the food in. Go eat. Hey, Fernie, no, no. Eat grass. And then, hey Finn, you want to walk around and round up that other chicken? Keep all right, guys. Fern, are you helping? Here it comes. 
Good job, Fern. Okay, just go slow and easy, Finn. <laughs> slow and easy. Almost. Almost. Oh, there you go. Yay. They're so easy. Yeah. Sometimes they'll run down to the chicken coop and then it's hard. That's what we Yeah, I don't Jessica. know if I trust those other hens to not peck on them yet. Yeah, I don't know. Okay, now what? Eggs? Eggs, yep. Okay, let's go. You want to carry the bag, Finn? Sure, I can put it in the you already bucket. fell off the eggs on there? Nope. Oh. <laughs> well, here's one that didn't go in. Angus said this is where she comes at night. This is her spot. And she's the Aracana or Americana Easter egg, or they go by a lot of names. She's the one that lays the blue eggs for us. And she's older. Mm -hmm. And she's still laying pretty good. Yes, every day you usually find one. So I'm glad she's around. Hopefully in here she'll be protected from coyote. Any eggs? Oh, yeah. And there's one in that Three one. Three eggs there. And what do we have here? One. Just one. That's okay. <laughs> That's usually that one and then three in there. Anything, Anything over there, happens. Finn, in the yeah, blue buckets? Just... Oh, in the blue buckets? No. Nothing? Been laying in there like... It's funny how they change all the time. I bet there's going to be three in the real coop. All right, now we'll there. Three or four. How much do you think there will be? I don't know. Three usually we'll coop. get, uh-oh. Um, Is it crap? Oh, it's hay. No, it's just hay. Oh, poop on it. It's gotta be Ooh. One of them cracked. Oh, no. oh, did it crack? Let's see. Yeah, that had to crack because let's see, let's look at it's it. all wet. Take okay, the hay off the bottom. Oh, but, but well, you got hay in your hands. It's too far gone for us to take. Let's just come out here and give it to the dogs. Okay, I'll, can I give it to Fern? Fern yes. will like that. Yes, Fern will love it. All right, Fern. You can just Favorite give it to her. Day. I'm sure she'll. I don't know. She won't mind the straw. Yeah, that's not gonna. That's not gonna <laughs> make her so hesitate. Hard. That's okay. They love eggs. If the chickens ever lay in a spot where the dogs can reach it, they'll eat it. Then they'll eat it. For sure. Yeah. It's we like, caught Naira one year, going <laughs> in the little tiny opening at the chicken coop, eating all the how, eggs every day. I don't know how she fit in there, but you just see her. Trying to get in there and like, oh, she's eating eggs. Yep. Should I crack it for Fern? No, she's fine. She'll figure it out. Oh yeah, you're be right. It is cracked. Yeah. That's okay. All right, let's go finish. All right. Before it starts yeah. raining. Have you seen Droopy's friend over here, Finn? The dead dog. Angus. Yeah. Somebody suggested a funny name. It was hilarious. Now I can't remember what it was. Where'd it go? Um, oh no, is he gone? Nope. Oh, he's right there. See, he's faithful. He had his blanket on. <laughs> His blanket. <laughs> Better put his blanket back on him. Yeah, it's probably yeah. cold. It's Angus's faithful friend. Mm -hmm. I'll have to look back in the comments. It was a good three. name. Be yeah, they got a bet. Eggs. Finn thinks three more eggs. So I think there's gonna be one. Well, oh, um, oh yeah, I think there's gonna be four you, more. Eggs. Oh, you think four more? I think there's gonna be five eggs in here. She thinks there's gonna be four. All right, excuse me. All right. Oh. There's none in there. Huh? Oh, he didn't check it. Careful, they're rolling around in there, Angus. They're going to crack. Oh, yes. Yeah. Right, two. Ooh. Yeah. Come on, wait. Come on, chickens. Oh, that's one of the big ones. Know. There it is. Where? Well, you're holding it. That's so, Finn, only need, only need one more for Finn to win, right? No, two, two more for her. Oh, okay. Three more for me. I'll check in here, Finn. Oh. Here, just set your eggs down, maybe, so you don't crack them. If there's some in there, I can go and get them. Get them. Uh, Angus gets the inside ones. Okay. You got the outside ones. One. Watch out. Oh, I can't Hopefully there's no inside. snake waiting for him in there. Ooh, that'd be nice. Oh, I see something slithering around. <laughs> Anything? Oh, Finn won. Yes! Finn won? Yep, there's mm -hmm. one third one. Yes! I would have won if that one was a cracker. So there's more than Finn said, right? No, she was right. Oh, she got right on? Yep. Okay, we're done. Yep. I guess Nash and Wren have to feed the goats and dogs. We'll go eat dinner. Let them finish their chores. <laughs> yeah. We won't help them. <laughs> we're hungry. Yeah. That one doesn't go all the way in. There's like wood stuff. Yeah. Okay, right. let's go. Alrighty. I'll get the uh, done. It was nice beating you. <laughs> True siblings. And here is one of our big problems. These pigs, who aren't supposed to root. Look what they're doing to the ground. And obviously, Anne 
is a big culprit. But there goes Diana doing the same thing. I don't know if they're getting grubs or if they're just rooting because that's what pigs do. But supposedly this breed doesn't do that. So they may have limited free time or they might have to get a ring in their nose. Ah, look at that. That's horrible. Man, your whole face is in the dirt. Ooh, look what we found when we cleaned out the refrigerator. Rotten lettuce. All right, come here, buddy. Not Come much on. to salvage. Gonna open it up. So the goats are gonna get a treat. They don't get many treats. Ooh, it might be too, they might not even like the rotten. Well, they probably would. Let's see. Oh, oh. are you too picky? Does it need to go to the pigs? Huh? Nope. Oh, look at them it. sniff it and walk away. Picky, picky, picky. The pigs will eat it. Oh my goodness. You girls are spoiled. Come here, Maria. Come here, baby. Course, I don't know if I'd want to eat it, but I thought surely the goats would. Well, okay, plan B. I guess we'll pack it back up and take it to the pigs. To the pigs. Yee, slimy lettuce. We can just chuck it over the fence. That'll distract them from all the rooting in the dirt that they're doing. Alrighty. Ooh, yummy. Yum. Let's see if Gil's not too picky. I doubt it. Oh, oh. alrighty. Gil's happy. Oh, Gil, all to yourself. You don't even have to share. Where's all your girls? You might have to pick it up and run. There you go. Go, Gil. Sit. Sit. Good. Give me a pause. Give me a pause. Go with it. Nelly. 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 Nelly, stop it. Nelly. Want your own? Sit. Nelly. Brass. Take a bite. Take a bite. Good job. Take a Take bite. Take a bite. Take a bite. They're limited. Good. Rations. Take a bite. Take a bite. Good, piggy. Diana, Diana. Sit. Sit. Come on. Sit. Good. Give me. Good, piggy. <laughs> Good. Sit, Nelly. Nelly, you're a brat. Sit. Sit. Good, pig. Diana, sit. Okay, take a bite. Good. Take a bite. Good job, piggy. Take a bite. No, bite Nelly. She wants the whole thing. She keeps trying to rip it out of my hand. Take a bite. Take a bite. Good. Well, look, like Ann over there got the whole thing. She's just enjoying Good. it. Ann's my pig. Didn't have to special. share. So here you can see another area, a bigger area, that those pigs are uprooting. So after they did this, we started putting them in the garden more, letting them out only a couple days a week, but. That didn't solve the problem. Everything I read said that they often go through a phase when they're four to five months old where they root, kind of like maybe a teenager phase, um, and then they should outgrow it. But I figured out these pigs are older than five months old. Uh, the only other option they give, and they said often it has to be done, is you put a ring in their nose so that they don't like the rooting. Um, or on a young pig, you can put pig clips in the upper portion of their nose, but that just kind of intimidates me. I need to watch some more YouTube videos on it uh, and see if that's something we would do or take them to a vet. Um, but something's gonna have to be done um, or Aaron's gonna lose his patience with these pigs. Hello, mate, it's me, Angus, with my best friend, Polly the Polar Bear. This is one of the animals you will never see in all creatures from and rescue. But if you go to Antarctica, you probably see them and I'm warning you, they aren't so friendly. So, I just want to thank you all for praying for my best dear sister, Briar. She's doing G-R-E-A-T. And all your prayers are so hopeful. Just keep us going. And remember, there's always something to be thankful for. <laughs>